Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, or good night, depending when and where you're watching this from. You're enough, right? You probably don't always feel like enough. My name's Jennifer. I'm a nurse. Sometimes I don't quite feel like enough as a wife, a mother, a nurse. Is there enough time? Is there enough energy? Is there enough to do all the things that I feel like I want or should do? Um, and I joke with my friends to quit shooting on ourselves. We've said that a couple of times. But we grow up and have been conditioned a lot to be operating from a place of scarcity in our thinking and that there isn't enough or we aren't enough. So scarcity is one side of a coin and on the other side of that coin is abundance. Scarcity and abundance are sort of seem like opposites of each other, but they're operating in the same realm. Enough is this whole other thing. This has a whole, seems like it might not be enough. This is too small for me, might not be enough, but it's enough. Um, I wanna give you a visual. I'm a visual person, I think it's easier to learn. This is enough. This is abundance. Overflowed, emptied out. Now, I got nothing. Scarcity. Can we bring balance? And now me and my friends have enough. When we operate from a place of abundance, we collect a whole lot of everything and keep it for ourselves because we have a mentality of scarcity because we think there isn't enough. But when we operate from a place of where there is enough, there's actually enough. It goes around. We have enough food for people. We have enough time for people. We have enough energy for people. We have enough of doing everything just right as we are. I think of this when I think of my daughter and parenting a lot. Like, am I enough as a mom? Am I doing the right thing? Am I getting it right? And what I've started to learn is you might never feel like you're enough if you don't accept that you are and that you're there and that you're present and that you're loving and that you're nurturing. Sometimes we're getting ready for bed and she's not listening. And you know what? A parent who doesn't feel like enough probably starts yelling at their kid for not brushing their teeth because it's not going right because there's not enough time. There's not enough space. What I've started learning to do is make it fun, make it a game because I'm enough. She's enough. We have enough time. We have enough energy. We have enough love. We have enough patience for all those things. She doesn't want to eat. I get her to eat one bite and then I have her stomach pretend her friends in her stomach want company. She doesn't want to brush her teeth. I tell, I have her toothbrush, talk to her and tell her that it wants to clean her teeth because we're enough. Let's make it fun. Let's enjoy life. So I would just encourage you when you're feeling hurried, rushed, wanting to hang on to things, not willing to let go, to sit and give yourself a little think. Do I feel like I'm not enough? Is that why I'm behaving this way? Is that why I'm thinking this way? Is that why I'm feeling this way? And just take a couple deep breaths. I'm enough. You're enough. We're enough for this world. And let's love others out of that truth. Thank you.